This is a great question. How do you tell the difference between nail fungus or onychomycosis and nail psoriasis? Well, it could actually be quite difficult to tell the difference between two because they have lots of overlapping features. In this video, I'll explain the seven signs that we see on the nails that can be consistent with psoriasis and then what we do in the office to tell the difference for sure. First sign I look for is nail pitting. So these are little pits in the nails. They vary in depth, but they're usually randomly arranged like this. So they're just kind of scattered randomly in little tiny holes, what we call pits. Number two is nail plate yellowing. This is a sign that overlaps with onychomycosis. And number three is onycholysis. This also overlaps with onychomycosis. So where the nail plate lifts up from the nail bed. Subungal debris or hyperkeratosis, it's also a sign of psoriasis, which we can also see in nail fungus. Another different feature though is splinter hemorrhages. So that's when you get these little red streaks in the nail, which are actually little tiny hemorrhages. And the last one that's more psoriasis than fungus is what we call salmon patches or oil spots. And that's what they look like, like little red kind of blotches of what looks like oil under the nail. Sometimes we can make the diagnosis clinically if someone has a lot of skin psoriasis, which typically looks like this. But oftentimes if we don't know, we want to rule out fungus too. So what we do is a nail clipping and then we send that off and they look at it under a microscope and see if there's fungus there or they do PCR analysis on it to see if there's actually fungus there as well. But isn't that cool? Your nails can really tell a lot about what's going on with your overall health on your skin and inside the body as well. 